Hello everyone, Rorius here. I just need to quickly say my bad. So in the previous episode, I was pretty, I was getting pretty salty about some things that were happening in this game. Um, I do apologize to all you fans of Ratchet and Clank. I love Ratchet and Clank, by the way. Um, and that's why I was so critical of it at first, because uh, I want it to be the thing I loved, you know. <laughs> but nevertheless, I am going to continue this because the cutscenes are going to record. And I've just got to accept that there are going to be a lot of differences with the game. I'm going to continue this. I want to keep playing this. It's a really fun game to play. Now, last time we got this, we got the plumber. He was known as the plumber in the previous game. Yeah, and um, yeah, basically he said he will help us fix our ship. So that's a little different from what it was previously. It used to be that um. You, the plumber would just give you the, that, uh, thingy to help- Oh! Holding his breath, our intrepid Lombax delves the depths of, uh, deepness. <laughs> um, so it would appear that Clank already has the ability to, uh, okay, I can't, um, attack while underwater. Um, so Clank already has the ability to turn his arms into those little turbo thingies. I don't remember, I swear you had to upgrade them in the original. Um, there was a planet that you'd go to that would you'd get an upgrade to allow you to have those. So it's interesting to note. What are these things? They appear to be amoeboids. Amoeboids? Yeah. They were created by Drek Industries in order to assist the warbots. Right. I thought in the original that they were actually, um... I swear in the original they were, for sewage reasons, they were built for devouring sewer sewage and, you know, dealing with sewage problems. Um, so they've changed their purpose a little bit as far as I recall. Okay, let's get going. Let's get moving. So there's an area down here that I can visit. I can venture to. Um, I, unfortunately, I can't attack stuff that's in the water. So I can't, like, deal with those those crates that are down there. I have to just ignore them. I do believe you'll get an upgrade for that. More bad guys. <laughs> I wonder if this, the Amoeboids act the same as they used to. Oops. So what used to be the case? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, they split off into different version, like, smaller Amoeboids. Oh. Okay, so they've got a lot more health than they used to have. <laughs> um. Uh. So the small ones are good, they just take a single shot. These big ones require a little more. It used to be that the big ones would one shot as well, but then the, the trick was that, um. Well done. You know, the, the big ones would take one shot to turn into smaller ones, and the smaller ones would take one shot to turn into even smaller ones. Oh. Uh, can I shoot it? Or can I blow it up? I have no grenades. Damn it. Pretty sure those just require a grenade to blow up. Ah, uh, here we go. Yes. Grenade. Why, thank you. You are very good at breaking things. <laughs> I forgot you that know, this was here. Said the same thing. <laughs> Grim. You are very good at breaking things. Yeah, so that was a secret that I knew was around somewhere. I was just thinking about it when I was talking about blowing stuff up. I was like, oh, I better save one of those grenades because I might need it very soon. Turns out that box was there as a little hint to the fact. <laughs> to that fact. This must be the way out. So yeah. We are near the end. I believe that was just to... Yeah, that was just a little thing for the secret and for... I actually don't remember what it was for in the original. Check out my inventory. So, I can buy the Pyrocitor. It's 2,000. Um, fires a stream of burning pyro pyrocytic fluid. Okay. Great for keeping touchy-feely enemies out of your personal space. And then we've got the Proton Drum. Deploy a supermassive pseudo-atom that regularly emanates a white disk of damaging subatomic energy. That's so much jargon. <laughs> so much. I'm gonna buy the Pyrosta. 
pretty sure it's just it's just your standard um <laughs> yeah pretty sure it's just your standard um is it the same name it might not even have the same name it's a flamethrower from the first game whoa that is a lot of bad guys yeah oh, darn blog. attention citizens <laughs> You may have noticed we are in the midst of a small, insignificant invasion. We are working hard to contact the cross so we can find a peaceful resolution. But until they return our calls, it's probably best to remain in your home. Yeah. Interestingly, I've just noticed, I don't know if that was the case in the original, the mayor guy that was just talking, he is so definitely voiced by, um, the same voice actor who voices Orthopox from the Serial Humans series. If anyone's played Destroy Humans, I love that series, and uh, that's totally the same voice actor. Uh, Pyrocida. So. <laughs> that flaming just then didn't even use one ammo. Oh man, it's starting to drop frames. I think this game might have been intended to run on um, a PlayStation Pro. PlayStation 4 Pro. I only have a standard PlayStation 4, I don't have a Pro, so it might be a little bit laggy in areas. This area has always been like a big war zone of an area though, to be fair. These guys can shoot a lot further than they used to be able to. Um, okay, so I think I can shoot with R2 as well as Circle. <laughs> oh yeah. You got a lot of bolts. But get rid of some of them and buy a proton drum from me. Yeah. I do tend to try it pretty hard to get everything. That's a Cora Verilux statue. She's the youngest recruit ever to be selected for the Galactic Rangers. Oh. That's what that was. It looked a bit like um the girl from Tools of Destruction. I thought they were going to introduce her as, you know, earlier on in the series, but, um, maybe it is still her, but maybe she has a new name, or maybe that, maybe I'm remembering her name wrong. Very possible. All of those are very possible. <laughs> um, if I'm not mistaken as well, there is, there's an area up there that you can't get to early on. That has a pla uh, has a well. In this case, it'll have a, a, uh, one of the cards in it. Let's just see. Let's see if I can get up here. Oh. Ow. Okay, so there was just a just some raritanium down there. <laughs> so yeah, part of me is maybe assuming that I'm supposed to attack them from up here and and then oh god, no no no. <laughs> yeah. Can I hit it with my wrench? There we go. <laughs> cool. So yeah, it would it would appear that I can already swim down there. That used to be a secret area with I think just a it was just like a um a location for one of the gold bolts, which will are all those cards now. Um, I'm also looking, keeping an eye out, trying to keep an eye out for raritanium, because apparently they're just in like little rock deposits in this game. So, yeah. <laughs> I like the pyrocida so far. Does mean I have to get pretty close to the enemies though. He keeps like making announcements about like Hey we're here to discuss the everything. <laughs> yeah, so they've made this enemy able to shoot a lot further than it used to be able to shoot. This enemy used to have a very specific uh, way it shot that you could predict. 
It used to have a little area on the floor that, you know, told you where the bomb was gonna land. And it could only shoot about this distance that I'm just standing there. Um, so, it's a little different. Not used to that. I'll have to get used to that. <laughs> oh, By the way, oh. More of them. That must be the mayor's ship. Oh god. <laughs> what have I done? I missed with my hair. Mayor Buckwash will not last long without our help. Buckwash? Sounds like it's a play on Backwash. I don't think that was his name. I think that he was just called the mayor. In the previous game. I don't think he had a special name. Ooh. Little, new little secret area that didn't used to exist. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so. This is like a... I want to call it a boss fight, but really it's just a, a little arena where you've got to protect the mayor from these guys. <laughs> I love the, I love the voice actor for um, Orthopox. Fusion grenade level up. So plus 25 damage. Awesome. Damaged enemies... Uh, to increase weapon level. Each new level opens new Rotanium upgrades. Okay, flame throw. I'm glad that there's all automatic subtitles in this game. Because sometimes I pause the game or I do stuff. Or, you know, there's a lot of shit happening on screen. And so, oh. Oh, I must have got an upgrade to my health as well. <laughs> yeah, these guys act a little different as well. They used to be a lot more uh, skittish and a lot more careful with how they attacked. If you got close, they would uh, hide in like special camouflages under the ground. They're much more brash and out in your face in this version. Ow! <laughs> Oh, I love that voice actor. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I thought we were done for sure. <laughs> we are happy to be of assistance. Why is Dreck trying to kill you? It's my nephew, Skid McMarks. Wait, Skid uh. McMarks, the pro hoverboarder? That's his nephew? He sent me this info bot from Iridia, and the Blarg have been after me ever since. Here, <laughs> take a look. Hey, Uncle Buckwash! Skid McMarks here! You know, your nephew! My agent and I are at the awesome grand opening of the McMarks Sports Shack here on Iridia, and boy is this been a trip! I've gotten to meet all kinds of people! Fans, celebrities, my Gadgetron sponsors, I even got to sign autographs for these odd-looking creatures called the Flarg. <laughs> I guess they're doing something here on Iridia. Wait, uh, hold on a second. Hydro Harvester Super Illegal Water Displacement Apparatus. Um, I don't think I was supposed to have this. Stop him! He's got the schematics! <laughs> Help! Okay. Help call my agent! Call my publicist! Actually, don't call either of those people. Call someone who cares about me! I don't want to die! <laughs> okay, so... Like Skid McMarks is in trouble. <laughs> We gotta get to Iridia. So yeah, they've really gone... But we must first repair our ship. Okay, so I have a map. I can get to it via the, uh... Uh... Oh, you did touch... It. Thanks for saving the sector, friend. Now touch button. Back and we'll see about fixing that ship. Yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> your mayor is safe and sound. I was rescued by a silly hero and his robot friend. <laughs> I will now resume regular office hours. <laughs> wow, it's <laughs> a half an hour office hours. Um, okay, so, yeah, what I was going to say is they've really gone out of their way to try and uh, link everyone together. So, because originally there was a lot of sort of just random characters work, you know, all just happened to be involved in the story for some reason or another. Um, it was pretty rare that any sort of real logical reason for them being involved was there. 
But I mean, that was fine because it, you were just sort of exploring and looking, and you were searching for for Quark. That was your whole purpose. Um, and so, so the Ratchet and oh. Clank set out to fix their ship with the help of the plumber. They, <laughs> yeah. know they would soon come so close to greatness, they'd be able to hear its mighty biceps ripple. But first, they'd have to tackle a brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Hey, wait a minute. I don't recall no brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Okay, fine. <laughs> Killjoy. Yeah. Well, you look about all fixed up here. Now promise me you'll get that infobot to Captain Quark. I promise. Thanks for your help. No problem. See you in the next reboot. <laughs> Damn it. Um, yeah, the plumber was always the character that had like they always like wreck car. Uh, they always um used him for fourth wall breaking stuff. And what I was gonna say is that yeah, they've really gone out of their way to try and make uh all the characters linked up in the story for some reason or another, or so in some way or another. I got an um, idea. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'll buy this just because I've never used it before. It could be a really interesting thing to try out. But, I'm going to upgrade the Pyrocitor. So, uh, bonus for Rotanium. Check down enemies for even more Rotanium. That's probably a- that's probably a very valuable upgrade to have. Um, so I'm gonna buy that. I might just- if there's Rotanium upgrades for other stuff, there isn't for this one. Okay, I'm gonna buy these. Oh, no, wait. There we go. Buy those two. Stable plasma. The combustor's plasma balls travel even further before burning out, allowing you to pick up enemies from long range. Pardon me. Okay, so, yeah, now it's got a longer range. That's what that upgrade was. Um, how many? I've got five left. There's no raritanium upgrades for this one. There are damage upgrades, which is the, which would be very useful. There's area of effect upgrades. Um, also very useful. I have five. I'm just gonna have a look at Proton Drum. Uh, holo cards. Shake down enemies. Oh, more holo cards. Uh, duration. This area of effect. Okay. So the Pyrocitor was the only one with the bonus raritanium thing. Range. Strike your enemies for an even f more comfortable distance. Oh, right. That'd be useful, actually. And wider flame. Cool. Um, I think I'm gonna try and go for. I don't know. Maybe I should get the card upgrades as well, though I think they're just for, as it says, just for like the uh, showing off purposes. I don't really care about that. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go with the, I think I'm going to further upgrade the Pyrosta. Um, I could just go for broke, or I should, or I could upgrade the four range ones. Yep, and then um, I'll upgrade the ammo capacity, or should, upgrade ammo, yeah, no, I'm gonna choose ammo capacity, because, um, I wanna then loop around here to get the secret upgrade. Cool. Alrighty. <laughs> Aw, yeah. Getting new weapons. Um, I wonder if you can have a closer look at the weapons in here. So, yeah, you got the combustor. Damn, sort of gooey's in the way. I was gonna hope, I was hoping, hoping to, um, Use it for the thumbnail. <laughs> Proton drum. Quite the crazy looking weapon. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll have to just quickly see what this is like. Ah, uh, no enemies left. No, no, I'm not gonna hop down there. <laughs> Let's just shoot it. Okay. Okay, so it's just an area of effective damage thing. Um, well, I am not going to leave just yet, because I'm going to stop the episode there. This has been a really short one, and I do apologize, but I recorded Slime Rancher way too long today, so I don't have any more time to play this. So I finished Novalis. I believe I finished everything on Novella, Novalis. Um, because I did the I did the one with the plumber, I did the one that's just the bonus thing that has the uh, rare card, and I've been around here and saved the mayor. So it's, the next thing is Iridia. The next planet to go through. Go oh god, I entered the ship. <laughs> Oopsies. Um, Not only could they set their new destination, each planet came annotated with fun things to do, courtesy of the Freeloader's Galactic Almanac. Um, doesn't say how many. God damn it. Oh wait. Oh, these have. There's no. Oh, so Novalis doesn't have any special bolts, but Kerwan does, and so does Velden. Well, there's not much to do back home. 
Okay, so he, he they'll make comments about um, the areas that I'm looking at. So Kerr one would be if I want to go to the Metropolis. To warn the Rangers. Yeah, this is goes this goes to Metropolis, and this is your attempt to speak with Quark. And I think I usually do that first, and then I go to Iridia afterwards because Iridia is quite challenging. Let's see if we can help out Skid McMarks. And Skid McMarks originally Skid McMarks was just on the way to a concert or something. It was on the way to a, sorry on the way to a uh, you know like a, a hoverboard race, and he gets shot down and lands on Iridia. And that's just, that's how you happen to, you hear the distress call of, uh, Skid McMarks in Iridia, and that's how you end up going to Iridia. This time, he actually stumbled upon something he wasn't supposed to find, um, while he was in Iridia for, for a reason, you know. <laughs> so that's probably not, it's not a bad change. I think it's an interesting change, and actually, I kind of like it. I kind of like that he, I don't know how he came across the thing, but I kind of like that he was at an event, that there were just, like, people hanging out, and he was, like, signing autographs. I like that. I liked... I like that you see him in that context there. But yeah. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep playing this. I actually, this is one of my... Ratchet and Clank has been one of my deep loves for a long time. I might even play the original trilogy on the channel if I get the time to. I probably won't end up doing that. I, I want to do that. But uh, time, you know. <laughs> Too many games to play and not enough time. If you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. I'll probably be going to Kerwan next time and I'll finish Kerwan... I'll probably finish Kerr 1 and Iridia in the next episode. So yeah, I'll do two next time. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and as always...